up, what's up? This is my guitar lesson for Heart of Gold by Neil Young and I'm Justy. These are my guitar lessons. This is my world. Welcome. If you guys haven't been on my channel before, uh, my channel is all about teaching you how to play the guitar through learning your favorite songs and more. Well, I like classic rock and I want to teach you how to play it. I made a tutorial for the song and um, my tutorials are pretty straight to the point. And I just want, I want more time to spend with you guys and teach you some things because at the end of the day, I can teach you how to play any song you want. But what I'm here to do is I'm here to teach you how to play guitar. Well, you can create your own songs so you can impress your friends, win over a girl, uh, play a song for your wife on your anniversary, you know, that, that type of stuff. I want to get you on your feet so you can... Explore the world of music is what I really want to do. That's the approach that um, I'm taking. I've always just kind of done tutorials, but this is my lesson for Neil Young's Heart of Gold. Here we go. Okay, so there's like four or five parts here. I'm going to show you how to play each part. I might talk a little bit. I want to teach you guys some things that I learned along the way, especially from playing some of these Neil Young songs and his style and, uh, and how that stuff goes. So the first part is the intro, which goes like this. So I love this effect that Neil, Neil does. Neil's all about muting. You can hear it in Old Man. He does muting with his right hand, but in this song, in Heart of Gold, he does muting with his left hand, which I think is, is super cool. This guy mutes with both his right and his left. What he's doing here is he first starts off and he's making an E minor seven chord. Really quick, your E minor seven is your pointer finger on the second fret A string. Middle fingers on the second fret D string, ring fingers on the third fret on the B string. And when he's playing this chord, he's not strumming through the entire, the entire chord. He's not really hitting that E note right there, okay? He's just kind of hitting the in between four strings. And how he's muting it is he's taking the tension off his fretting hand. If I were to strum that chord right there, it rings, right? I take the tension off, listen goes away. Well, almost every single note goes away. You hear it? The only one that doesn't go away is that open G string. And that's just because I don't have a finger to really mute it. But all he's doing is he's just taking his tension off those strings. Same thing if I play a bar chord and I just take the tension off the strings. I'm pushing down, I take it off, it goes away. We pluck the open E string as we hold this E minor 7. And then six times we strum our E minor seven. Make that six. And then two down strums on your D major chord. Now an E minor chord. Down. A quick little down up in there. And then we're gonna do a hammer on. So open A string using my pointer finger to hammer on to the second fret on the A string, so. And then I'm going to pluck, open D, press on the second fret with the D, and then we have. Okay? We play through that twice, which should sound like this. All right, you got it? Second part of the verse. It's super easy, it's just a basic chord progression. It goes E minor, C major, D major, G major. Not too bad. But we incorporate some percussion in there to carry along the beat of the song. So as you can hear, the beat's kind of like something like that. It's pretty basic. But now, when we strum the song, we're incorporating that beat into the strumming. So for the verse, we start on that E minor, and we're going to pluck the bass notes. So we go pluck, pluck. The lowest note in the chord is the bass note. Down, down, up. Next chord, C major. The lowest note is going to be that third fret on the A string. Pluck, pluck, down, down, up. And then our D major, pluck, pluck. 
and then our G major. Pluck, pluck. Play through that three times. It should sound like this. Back to that intro I taught you, which goes like so. Okay, and that's the verse. Now we come up to the chorus of the song, which the chorus goes like this. doing there was I was doing my same E minor plucking pattern. I do that twice. So my E minor plucking pattern, remember those bass notes, then down, down, up. Okay? And then I do a G, the same pattern, the same plucking pattern for that G major. Do that twice. And now we come to the C and we go so this time we're muting with our right hand or our strumming hand. I go down, down, mute, down, like I do a little karate chop, like that. Down, down, mute, karate chop. Down, and then we go down, down, mute, with that karate chop, and then a G. So that part. So, so far, you know the intro, you know the verse, you know the chorus. Now the second verse changes up a little bit. The only thing that changes is the strumming pattern. So the chord progression is the same. You still have the E minor, C, E, G, okay? But now we're going to go. We're going to make it ring loud and proud. And then we go back into that intro. Really not too bad. Now the final part I'm going to show you is the outro of the song. It goes like this. doing there basically what I was doing was I was doing my little E minor with my plucking pattern twice and D once back to E minor and now we start that whole thing all over again so two E minors one D back to an E minor play through that three times Here's where it changes on, this, on that fourth time. So we start the fourth time, it goes. Then we go to a G. When we get to that G, we do a bunch of down strums. One, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. So one, two, three, four down strums, then down, up, down, up. And now we come to a C and we go. G. Just like that, we're done. So guys, I've taught a bunch of lessons on Neil Young, um, and one of the coolest things he does is he just uses, he plays simple chords and he uses muting techniques which make his songs sound so cool. They're really simple songs. They follow very basic chord progressions. And he uses these techniques to just give himself a different sound. 
Because when you play basic chords over and over and over again on an acoustic guitar, they all kind of start to sound very similar. So that's one thing I love about Neil Young. The other thing is, he just has a way of making an amazing piece of music with such a simple tool, and that's just an acoustic guitar. He's not using all kinds of synthesizers and crazy effects. Um, he uses his harmonica, his voice, and his guitar. Also, you know, he'll have obviously percussion in there too, but music can be so basic and so simple and yet so beautiful. I don't want you to get overwhelmed in how complex music can get because as a guitar player, new guitar player, advanced guitar player, it gets overwhelming. It does at times where, you know, you just feel like there's just too much to learn out there. Keep it simple. Go back to the basics. Use basic chords with some basic effects or basic techniques like muting. Mess around with muting. You can find all different types of ways to make your acoustic guitar sing with mutes, with different types of strumming. Experiment. Check it out. Take a basic chord progression and have fun with it. I really think you'll be able to open new doors and really explore music if you take a basic chord progression and just find ways to elaborate on it. And once again, guys, more than anything, practice, practice, practice. Practice is going to get you to that next level. I guarantee it. Please say hi. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my channel. Keep it real. Say what's up. Just drop me a line. Tell me where you're from. Tell me your favorite Neil Young song. Maybe I'll do a tutorial just for you. Stay safe. Keep rocking. I will see you on the next guitar lesson.